Hello, my fellow seeds, and welcome back to another episode of Tug. My name is Josiah, and today we are going to be exploring the Hobbit House. Look at that. Doesn't that just look magical? I've always wanted to live in my own Hobbit house. But anyways, we are going to do a full tour, starting with the outside. So obviously, as you can see, just out front here, we got a fence made out of just wood and hardened wood staffs. Some apple trees and all that kind of stuff, because if you're living on your own out in a Hobbit house, of course you're going to need food. So we got berry bushes, apples there, and if you come over on the top of this little stone path here, Get some gourd vines. And of course I made the awning here out of these flat rocks. And look at this. This actually took a while, but the window looks super cool. And it's actually got grass growing in it right now. Hmm. Don't know if I like that or not, but we can always go back and change that. Of course, same idea for the front entrance and an upside down torch to make a little lantern for the front that way you can actually see the entrance and this is something I like this was something really cool I came up with out of nowhere we've got carved out pumpkins for bowls and then flowers with a little bit of dirt on the bottom of them for potted plants so that was actually a pretty fun project let's actually go inside now first thing I'm gonna point out is the table and of course another pumpkin bowl and some vines. Uh, these vines I don't believe make anything, they're just regular regular green vines. They don't produce any fruit or anything like that. Next let's come over here and as you can see I have a little hat rack. I'm actually really proud of this. It's just kinda something random. Made it out of a rock, a staff, and a few wooden handles. Of course we have some more wood and some candles here just for making some more lanterns. And that actually goes throughout the house. Sorry I was, I was very preoccupied. I love staring out this window. It just looks so cool. All right, a bunch of wooden benches, of course. Just makes a table. Got a candle on top of that, a chest over there. This was interesting. I'm kind of on the fence about this. Of course, this is a bunch of sand casting molds just layered on top of each other and next to each other. And some staves going through it. And this is kind of like a drawer desk type of deal. I don't know if I like the look of it. Tell me in the comment section, of course, down below what you guys think. Go ahead and head on to the other rooms gonna point this out all the woodwork throughout the entire house took a long long time so it was a fun project I've always wanted to make an actual hobbit house in real life I thought it was really cool that I got to do so in tug this is of course a furnace chimney type area but I just put the furnace inside of it there because if we're gonna have a hobbit house why not and then of course a knife here on the table on the kitchen countertop table so that you can cut up all your food, get it all prepared, boil it if you have to. And the reason you would prepare all this food is because the amazing table of food that we have just over here and of course another potted plant but this time instead of a pumpkin I actually used one of these sand casting molds. Come over here you of course have your plate, your fork, your knife, bowl full of apples, some candle holders and some more candles there. And a bowl full of, we got bananas and cherries in there. And a wooden plate, and on top of that, it's just a bunch of meat, a bunch of cooked, cooked steak, I believe. And of course, another fork, plate, and knife. We got one more room in this place to show you guys. And this is, of course, you might recognize, I kind of based the Hobbit house slightly on Bilbo's from Lord of the Rings. So if you come through here, go here, this would obviously be the study. This is where he would be writing there and back again, a tale, a Hobbit's Tale by Bilbo Baggins. And of course some more pumpkins with potted plants in there. I actually had to stack two on top of each other because if you just do one inside the pumpkin plant, all you get is these flowers on the outside of the pumpkin but nothing above it. And of course something, eh, it's kind of a weird design idea but I've got a piece of coal for the ink, a knife, a crude knife for the pen, and a blade for the feather. It's kind of eh, I don't know about that one. 
we don't really have feathers and tug just yet, but uh, I don't know. Let's go back out here. Get one last reminiscent view of the Haba house. I <laughs> love this thing. If I could build this in survival, I totally would. Alrighty guys, so we're actually doing the next build in this video as well, since it was fairly short and I was able to do it fairly quickly. And that is, of course, making a weapon out of current creative tug materials. Now, I actually built it just over here above Dwarf Fortress. So if you look up, there's a sword up there. So, of course, for the, the gem on the bottom of the sword, we put a giant crystal. I used wood for the handle and a, a light brown clay for the leather around the handle, of course. Some stones just to keep the leather in place. A gem for the hilt of the sword, because why not? And this is actually on both sides. It's not just no casing one side of the sword. Gem just in the center there because it's got a groove that runs up the center of it. And I made a leaf blade at the top just because if I am making this a Lord of the Rings style themed build world, might as well make something that looks slightly like Sting, but it's got a more decorated hilt. Well, my fellow seeds, it has been so much fun building in this world. I particularly like the Hobbit House just because it is simple but detailed and something I've always wanted to build. Everything that you see in this world, or have seen in this world, is going to be fully downloadable. I will put a link to that in the description. Don't forget to clickety-clack those like and subscribe buttons. My name is Josiah, and I will see you all next time. Bye!